Hi everyone, my name is Kess and I collect and today I'm going to do a review of Claudine Honkator. I am so happy she finally arrived. She was delayed by one day and I actually got kind of scared. I was like, oh my gosh, she's not going to show up at all or it's going to be crazy or I was freaking out. Luckily, she did 15 minutes before I had to go to my work, so I wasn't really able to appreciate her. But when I got home, I was, and she looks amazing. I do have to say with the Hong Couture dolls, I was pretty scared for like wonky eyes or weird face prints or weird eyelash rooting. But two out of three, I'm happy so far. <laughs> There was a lot of stuff going on with Claudine because she was online for like two or three days, I believe, and Mattel made a mistake. So some people actually got their order canceled because she was already sold out when she was still on the website. But I do think that most people that wanted her were able to get her, which is amazing. I'm really excited to open her up and show you all the little details. So let's go. Let's start with the box. The box is a matte black coffin shaped box with a metallic purple plaid pattern. It has Claudine related details like her skelet, the moon cycle, a crescent moon. You can even see an animal print heart with a fur jacket, a headband with ears, a claw and bones. And on the top of the box, there's this fake leather square and it says Han Couture in metallic letters and the Monster High logo with some more Claudine details on the sides. And here's the back of the box. The same pictures continue on the back. Now let's open the box. Once you open the box, you can see Claudine being displayed with a plastic layer for protection. And on the lid of the box, you can see a little pouch that says Claudine Wolf with a silver metallic Monster High logo and inside the pouch is her diary. And it also comes with a certificate that is in a plastic seal. It says Hong Couture with the Monster High logo in gray letters, Certificate of Authenticity. This certifies that your Monster High Hong Couture Claudine Wolf doll materialized through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. And it's signed by Glenda Chiu. On the back of the certificate, it has the Monster High logo and Hong Couture in purple letters and it says, Hey ghoul, we have so much to catch up on, including that outfit choice, but we'll talk about that later. Variously, it's been like 120 full moons or so since we last fanged out. Of course, I'm still the fiercest fashionista to creep the halls of Monster High. Doesn't this Colossum look just make you want to scream? Cleo now, my arch fashion rival, is going to completely unravel when she sees this furious jacket paired with this leather skirt and howling open toe heels. It's a stroke of fashion genius. Can't wait to see how many screeches I get on my blog when the ghouls see this freaky fab look. Always a scream catching up with you. Now, can we talk about those shoes? And it has Claudine Wolf and her paw in purple letters. I will be reading Claudine's full diary later in this video and I will put the time code in the description. So stay tuned for that. Now let's take a look at Claudine in the box. She is displayed with a dark purple background and you can see everything that she comes with right away. You can see her brush above her head and her stand next to her. Now let's take off her plastic seal so we can take a better look. And this is what she looks like without the seal. And you can see all her details even better now. Now let me fully unbox her so we can get into the details. So this is Claudine out of the box. She comes with a violet metallic base for her stand and the same color brush. The rest of her stand is clear. She comes with her diary and her purse. She seems to be having the exact same body as her original doll. The only difference is the lower arm. Claudine Honkouture has the reboot arm and Claudine Wave 1 has the normal one. You can tell the difference by the pack on top. And they both seem to be around the same height. Although I do think Claudine Honkouture looks a little bit taller, but that could also be because the base of the Honkouture dolls are a little bit taller than the original ones. She has medium long brown hair and you can see some pink too in the bottom. The pink part is only rooted in the back of her head, so sometimes a little pink comes through. She has an original face with a new eye shape and different eyebrows. Her eyebrows are brown and thick and she has a brown eye look with rooted lashes. Her eyes are brown with yellow detail and she has purple lips with her fangs. She comes with this black headband with golden studs. 
and this could definitely be a reference to her first ever leaked promo pictures where Claudine was actually wearing a headband with ears attached to it instead of ears attached to her head. Her right ear has this violet stud earring that has three studs going down and her left ear has her iconic earrings but this time they are in a metallic gold color. She comes with this golden and black necklace that goes all the way over her chest and this could definitely be a reference to her original two-piece necklaces. She comes with this super big pink and purple furry coat and it's green on the inside. She has this black and golden mesh crop top and she has this golden finish on her sleeves and on the bottom of her shirt. And underneath of her black mesh top, she has this tank top that is green and pink and it looks like tiger stripes or maybe scratches. And then it has black scratches all over it. She comes with this really big ring that fits four fingers and it says monster in gold. And she has this charm bracelet which is completely gold with studs on it and it looks like the charm is a little purse with a monster eyes colette on the front. She comes with this fake leather purple skirt that is high-waisted. It flares out on the bottom and has black mesh. Like her wave one skirt and has gold stitching and some little gold studs. She comes with a jacket purse and it's exactly the same jacket that she has on her wave one doll. And it has an actual chain that is metallic gold. She has these black lace socks and her shoes are black with open toes and golden detail like golden studs, a golden moon and golden studs on the back of her heel. Now let's get into the diary. The diary is black and has the Monster High logo in purple and black letters. It says this diary belongs to Claudine Wolf. Just because it's a lost diary doesn't mean you can read it. Her bio is the exact same as her Wave 1 doll. It says name Claudine Wolf, age 15, monster parent, the werewolf, killer style. I'm a fierce fashionista with a confident no-nonsense attitude. I'm also gorgeous, intimidating and absolutely loyal to my friends. Freaky flaw. My hair is worthy of a shampoo commercial and that's just what grows on my legs. Plucking and shaving is definitely a full-time job but that's a small price to pay for being scarily fabulous. Pet Crescent, a scary cute little kitten as fuzzy as I am. Favorite activity, shopping and flirting with the boys. Biggest pet peeve, I hate having so many brothers and sister in school at the same time. They're annoying, embarrassing, and totally know how to push my buttons. Oh, and Cleo Denial. Favorite school subject, economics. One day I plan on having my own fashion empire and I want to know as much about business as I do about fashion. Least favorite school subject, gym. It's only because they won't let me participate in my platform wedges. Favorite color, gold. It's the only thing Cleo Denial and I can ever agree on. Favorite food, steak, rare, BFFs, Frankie Stein and Draculaura. Ugh, where do I even begin? It feels like it's been at least 120 full moons since I wrote in my diary. Mom says I over exaggerate when I'm stressed, but furiously, it's been a while. I've been busy with the new Scaremaster at Monster High, hanging with my BFFs and correcting the fashion faux pas of other monsters. I haven't had time to write it all down, so get over it. Most importantly, I've been using this new thing called Instagram and posting to my fashion account at Howl Couture. It's the premier place online to get great fashion tips and of course a daily scoop on my hashtag OOTD. Running this blog has been a full-time job, but every great fashion empire has to start somewhere, right? Her. Except I have tons of pics of my brother Claude and my BFF Draculaura on their dates, clogging up my fashion timeline. Their relationship used to bother me, but I can at least like their pics now without my fur standing on end. Please never let me be one of those monsters who needs to document every waking moment of their lives. Except for fashion. Fashion should always be documented, especially mine. Anyway, I bet the fashion grades didn't have to deal with an annoying little sister photobombing their posts or getting snot on their carefully curated closet. Howleen, if you're reading this, you're one bold wolf if you are. Please trust you'll pay for ruining my new purple leather mini skirt. Ugh, why can't I run my fashion empire from Londoom? Claudia wouldn't mind a sibling in her room, right? Why anyone thought that Cleo Denial should be the captain of the fair leaders is beyond me. Today's fair leading practice was worse than Draculaura's tofu and veggie screecher. 
Cleo's pyramid is a total disaster and Frankie lost a leg during practice. The real drama started when I made one tiny but true comment about the dire state of our fear leading uniforms. I thought Cleo was going to completely unravel with rage. Our fear leading uniforms are in desperate need of an update and I'm obviously the most fashionable monster to do it. After practice, I headed over to Draculaura's house to study for my advanced creature econ test. Trying to study at my house is impossible with this many wolves running around and I have to ace this exam. Studying at Draculaura's is so peaceful, it's quiet as crypt there, which means no interruptions or pesky brothers and sisters to break my focus, although Draculaura's dad doesn't seem to like a lot of visitors. He's about as welcoming as Wolfsbane and not at all talkative. Maybe he was in a bad mood because Draculaura was experimenting with her plant-based recipes again. He looked less than thrilled with Draculaura's sliders, even though they weren't that bad. I'll never admit that to her though. Me, a wolf, eating plant-based meat, bite your tongue. Fear leading practice was cancelled yesterday, which meant no Cleo to deal with, so I headed to the mall with my BFFs Frankie Stein and Draculaura. There were a few ghouls and monsters lurking about and in need of some furious fashion tips. What? I'm not about to let someone walk around looking like a fashion frightmare. They'll thank me later. Since we decided to do a fashion show to raise money for our fear leading uniforms, us three ghouls started to scour the mall for the perfect outfits. We landed in this scary cute boutique with even scarier prices. The looks were to die for but I know better than to ask mom and dad for money for new clothes. I already exceeded my budget for back to ghoul shopping and dad is still growling about that shopping trip. I thought Frankie was going to cause a blackout because her bolts were sparking like crazy when Dracula Laura mentioned making the clothes ourselves. Sometimes I wonder if that ghoul is stitched just a bit too tight. I love full moon nights with my family, though I'll never tell them that. My siblings are all so competitive and when the full moon is out, forget it. It's every wolf for him or herself. While dad pulls out the grill and cooks every steak to perfection, the rarer the better for me, I race with my brothers and sisters and play a little cask ball with Claude. Sports at home are so much better than at school because at least these monsters can try to keep up with me. Plus, I can look as fashionable as ever. I have so many looks for the full moon, I could change three times and still not put a dent in my closet. We always end the night with some s'mores and a campfire while mom and dad snuggle under a blanket with mugs of hot chocolate. It's all perfect until some wolf ruffles the fur of another wolf and then we all have to go inside. <sighs> Just another day with this crazy pack I call family. Did I mention that Cleo Donnell makes me howling mad sometimes? Her royal drama queen is not on top of the planning for this fashion show and was furiously irritated when I made a few tiny suggestions. The squad was so into it, they nominated me to run the show. That's right, February Frights is being run by yours truly and it's going to be the most fantastic show Monster High has ever seen. I hope Frankie knows what she's doing to make her outfits. I should check in on that. What a fashion frightmare. Frankie looked like she could use a serious jump start at school today. I've never seen that ghoul look so dead tired. When Draculaura and I asked what was wrong, Frankie looked like she could burst into tears. The three screen printer she invented to make clothes for the fashion show is a complete bust. She can't figure out how to make it work and ugh, that means no fashion show and no new fear leading outfits. I was having such a bad day, even Halloween steered clear of our room this afternoon. I was so excited about the show. It was going to be awesome content for Howl Couture. Excuse me while I howl into my pillow. Um, both Claude and Cleo must have gotten toenails in their sloppy toes today because they were both in monster moods. Cleo ended practice early and stormed off in a huff. I waited around for Claude to give me a ride home from school and he was growlier than usual. I usually love hanging out with my brother, but today I would have rather walked home in brand new shoes than deal with his mood. I tried to figure out what was wrong, but he said sometimes monsters just need some space and privacy. Her. I hope he's not fighting with Draculaura. You know what's worse than your brother and BFF dating? Your brother and your BFF breaking up. Seriously, if one more thing happens, I swear I'm moving to Londoom with Claudia. 
what a day, Fairlining practice was cancelled again and Cleo was a no-show. She actually been MIA all week and the halls of Monster High have never been more peaceful. I wanted to go back to that fabulous boutique we saw at the mall but Draculaura insisted we put together a scare package and take it over to Cleo. That ghoul is lucky, she's my beast friend because this was never on my to-do list today. Instead of a scare package, I thought it should be an intervention to discuss several of Cleo's fashion fall paws, but decided to table it. Anyway, we put together a few goodies, including the yummy spookies from the coffee bean and headed over to the Niles. Frankie didn't look like she could start a car battery, let alone cheer someone up. Poor ghoul was still down about the three screen printer and the fashion show. Now, I have my issues with Cleo, but the poor ghoul looked like she could use a friend, a makeover and a basket of spookies. Turns out she and Deuce broke up, she's putting up a good front, but I can totally see through her mascara. This breakup hurt. After we reassured Cleo that she would be fine without Deuce and we would be here for her, she seemed to be a bit better. Now I think I know why Claude was in such a voracious mood and so did Draculaura because she took off with the quickest to go find him. Anyway, the best news, Cleo helped Frankie figure out the three screen printer. Cleo had an old bracelet with magical mummy thread that could help Frankie's printer. I don't know the exact details, I tend to zone out when Cleo speaks. The most important thing is that the fashion show is back on, which means this wolf is back on the prowl to make this the best fashion show ever. And I only have days to do it. February Frights is in a few days. Frankie is locked down in her lab, printing all the clawsome designs I sketched. Even Cleo came through and designed a fire outfit that I had to give two paws up. She looked a little too smug about that. I gave Claude a hard time for not giving me the wolf's bane tea about Cleo and Deuce, but I get it. He was sworn to secrecy and in a rough spot because he hates keeping things from anybody. I'm just glad he's not fighting with Draculaura. Can you imagine the drama of a werewolf vampire breakup? The fashion show was a complete success. I thought the Claudatorium was going to burst when we walked the runway in our totally honk couture looks. I mean, this voracious jacket paired with this edgy leather skirt and topped off with open toe heels and gold details, the ghouls will be drooling for weeks and my eye coffin has been buzzing for hours with screams and DMs on Instagram. I can't wait to post more pics of my ghouls stalking down the runway looking fierce and fabulous. With this behind us, hopefully things calm down a bit. What am I talking about? There's always fresh drama brewing in the cauldron at Monster High. I just need to make sure my outfit is on point for all the scares and scandals ahead. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope everyone liked it and I see you guys in my next video. Bye!